Uh, Boris was an excellent London mayor. We never see the London mayor or even hear of the London mayor now. You must be hopeful of a Boris government. Can I just say this to you? I was born in 1979. Every single prime minister since then has been... Get out of it. <laughs> every single... I almost swore then. Every single prime minister since then has got worse and worse and worse. Mm. If you look at somebody like David Cameron, the socialist taxation policy that we put in, destroying the housing market by increasing stamp duty. Mm. We have finally now got a prime minister that was better than the person they replaced. Hallelujah to that. He said that Barack Obama harbored a part Kenyan's ancestral dislike of the British Empire. He said that women, he compared women who wear burkas to the letterbox. He said black people look like piccaninis with watermelon smiles. He's somebody that called, um, he called gay people tank top bum boys. He's not somebody that represent, represents a respectful prime minister. Now, the problem with these things is, isn't just that they're offensive, is that it sends a message to people that there's no need to respect people that aren't but the norm. Those, those to conversations were within a time when he was talking to people in the sort of language they understood. I don't think he would do that now as a prime minister. And lots of us, even you, Femi, have done things in our past we would rather not discuss now. People voted for Brexit, um, but Brexit simply means we, end, we leave the treaties. Now, the deal we just negotiated is Brexit, but most Brexit voters don't like it. Because oh, you're shaking your head. But, ha- but if, 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 we leave, if we leave the EU on the terms of that withdrawal agreement, no, have look, we left the EU? Femi, Femi, have we, have Femi, we left Femi, the EU? Your, your answer, game, answer the question. Your game, your game, answer the question. Your game is how answer little the question. Of the, no, of course not. There are, these, no, are sorry, two, no, these are two really no. options. Well, you think Theresa May's withdrawal deal, where we will be ruled by Brussels until they agree to give us a trade deal, is Brexit? Of course it, it isn't. Will we have left the EU? Will we have left the EU? Answer the question. Will we have left the EU? No, of course not. Okay, so, so, you, so what, you're, what you're saying is it's things that Brexit are actually name untrue. Only. It's Brexit you're actually, name what you just, well, coming you from you, just, I think, is right, 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 something that is fundamentally just untrue. Just a minute, right. Everybody says we are going to get our laws back, okay. control of our borders and our money and all this. And it really doesn't. Well, let, really let me answer it in two ways. ways. Really, Firstly, I used to be an advisor at the European Parliament, so I can you list, you, be I can yourself, list you legislation you all day. You should be ashamed of yourself. Yeah, I should be, absolutely. Now let's go back and answer the question. Now you've broken my flipping pen. Let me answer the question. Sorry, I just I refuse to accept lies. Um, <laughs> um, the treaty shall cease to apply to member state in question from the date of entry of the, uh, into force of the withdrawal agreement. So, once the withdrawal agreement comes comes into force, we are no longer how members not, of the EU. How you, how you brand remaining in the EU is entirely a matter no, for no, you. No, no, but this is remaining in the no, EU. No, no, no. We are talking well, look, about law. Pre- it's no, not purely a branding exercise. We are going. Listen, listen we, this is a really, really good demonstration of the problem that politicians have because we are split in this country almost half and half mm. so whoever wins there are going to be lots of very disaffected people i think there is a deep seated concern within the conservative party based on the previous local elections and the european elections that nigel mm. farage is going to cane them if they don't leave first could you ever see nigel later. becoming prime minister in the future hey look i think nigel farage and i've said this to his face he's a friend of mine should be the leader of the conservative party and be the british prime minister i think he's fantastic how would you feel about that, Femi? You, became... make, you, make, you, make it, you make it your wish. I mean, you saw Sajid Javid basically cozying up to the Brexit party a few weeks yeah. ago. Um, and what's going to happen is that, um, at the next election, the Brexit party and Conservative vote is going to be split. And we may well see a coalition between the, between the two. I do not believe that the Conservative Party and the Labour Party, maybe, will be around in one year's time if we remain in the European Union. Wind back again. You don't think the Conservative the Party cons- or the Labour Party will be around? They've James, been around for hundreds James, of years. The Conserv- Where are they going to go? I joined the Conservative Party in 1995 when the Conservative Party had no members, but at least it was fundamentally stable. Who did you stable. vote for to be the leader? Um, Boris Johnson, okay, obviously. Fine, right. um, but the Conservative Party is now becoming unstable and starting to fall apart. It's its decline. Can Boris save it? Without a doubt. Because the only issue here is there are two Conservative leaders. There's the leader of the Conservative Party and the leader of the Brexit Party. And if you look at what happened in Northern Ireland when people en masse dep- got rid of the UUP and replaced them with the DUP, that is precisely what can happen to the Conservative Party right. and they know it. The person I feel sorry for in all this is Theresa May because I think it is possible <laughs> that Boris will get a very similar withdrawal agreement past Parliament that is almost identical to the one Theresa Theresa May couldn't, and I feel very sorry for her. Is it split down the middle or more against, more for what? Uh, no, I'd say there is a, a lot of Brexiteers on here this evening, and that, and a lot of trolls. It's probably 50 50 trolls. Oh, 50. Are, the tro- are the trolls basically <laughs> Remainers? Uh, no. No, I would say you can't <laughs> actually. <laughs> it has to be said that Drew is Britain's top Boris look-alike. Not only does he embrace and uh, portray Boris Johnson 
Probably better than Boris, actually, I would say. You even sound like Boris. When I, when I want to sound like Boris, I, I put the voice on like this, you know. But is it true that you are actually an anti-Brexit activist? That's correct. You're going to be in a real terrible dilemma because here's your hero, Boris, on the one hand, and Boris is an anti-Brexit, and, and you know, well, it's just you're not going to know what to do, are you? Yeah, but, he's just, well, he's just let, a thing just, of beauty. Let, let me just say here, oh, thank you very much. I'm, 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 I'll give you my number later. Um, I'll, I will just be straightforward here because, I mean, pe people um, say that they'll vote for Boris because he tells it like it is. Well, I'll tell you, um, I'll, I'll tell it like it is. Britain is not ready for Brexit, and I should know that better than anyone because Britain was not ready for this bitch. <laughs> can, can, I ask one, can I ask one question to Drew? Um, uh, what, one question is this, right? You mentioned you were gay. Is it harder or easier to pull if you look like Boris Johnson? Because he seems to do OK. Well, I certainly, uh, I certainly wouldn't say I'm, I'm, you know, getting any tail off the back of it. 